Hey lovely people, this is your girl Nikki. So today is my very last 24 hour day in Barcelona, you guys. And right in back of me is the Arc, the Arc de Triomphe, but it's the Spanish version of the Arc de Triomphe that's in Paris. The last time I saw this particular um, sculpture was four years ago, you guys. And I remember it was raining outside. It was cold, it was rainy, it was wet but I took a picture while I was in the rain. Um, so I'm taking a picture real quick. Okay, I just took a picture and I just wanted to show you guys, this is the Spanish version of the Arc de Triomphe. So I'm actually just got off the train, I'm about to go to eat at my last vegan spot, you guys, and then it's a wrap. That's all she wrote. So stay tuned, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys, I don't know what's going on with me, but I have been getting quite emotional on this trip. Today is my last day. And I'm walking through here in Barcelona. It's about 69 degrees. I'm getting emotional because, first of all, I'm made for grateful for the three weeks that I had here, but it went by so fast. Five countries, eight cities. And I know a lot of you are thinking, aren't you tired? I mean, yeah, you would think. But you know what? I'm not. Because when I was able to um, rest, you know, in a city or country where I was staying two to four days, I slept, you guys. I slept quite a bit. I went sightseeing, but not to the extent that I normally would. Uh, one, by myself. Two, I don't want to run myself ragged. But I did see a lot last time I was in Barcelona four years ago. So, you guys... I am um, very well, you know, uh, vibrant, <laughs> rejuvenated, and after I eat, guess where I'm going? Back to my hotel to go and finish um, packing and get my stuff together, make sure I have all of my essentials. All right, lovelies, I'll check in again. I got to make sure I'm going the right way. I'll talk to you later. All right, lovely. So as you can see, I'm inside of Ubita Sangria Bar. It has a nice ambiance with the natural brick wall, the outdoors where you actually sit outside to eat, and inside as well. I decided to sit up against the wall with a nice painting and to take in the scenery, you guys. Hey, lovelies. Okay, this is Nikki. So. I'm here at um, Bubita Sangria Bar um, here in Barcelona. This is my last place to eat. And I want to feature to you guys uh, what I have so far. I don't want it to get cold. So I have the Bubita Patatas. Doesn't this look amazing, you guys? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at all that delicious starch. <laughs> looks so good. And I believe this is mm, hummus on top. And then there's an edible flower. So pretty, you guys. You see this? So pretty. I love it. And then I went ahead and got me um, a virgin lemon berry drink with an edible flower as well. Looks delicious, right? So I'm waiting for my um, plant based chicken sandwich as well as my paella, which is going to be my dinner and slash breakfast for tomorrow before I fly out back to the United States. All right, so you guys hold on for a second. I'm going to actually see, show you how this tastes. All right, I'm holding my phone instead of having a stand because my little stand actually uh, broke. So I'm gonna see if I could. That's steady, okay, that looks good. All right, here we go, you guys. Ooh, this looks so delicious. They have a lot of chives on here, which really makes the flavor pop. And the color. Oh wow. And these are delicious. Nice little spin on some potatoes. So you have the heat from the potatoes where it's warm, but then you have the coldness from the hummus. So you have a nice contrast. They also have some pumpkin seeds, which is really good. And I think my food is coming out right now. You know, oh my gosh, the paella was so amazing. Thank you so much. You guys, look at the paella. This is the plant-based chicken paella that just came on the table. And it's nice and hot, oh my gosh. Ooh, it's 
looks so good, you guys. Look at this. You can see that. That looks amazing. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this paella since it came out nice and hot. Oh, I just brought my hand, it's that hot. Okay, last time I had some paella was four years ago in Barcelona. I was not vegan at the time, now I am. But it's like slippery. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that lemon on top of my plant based chicken. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going in. Here we go. Oh, the steam. And it says Herrera. I know that name as in Herrera Foods because I've had the paella, I mean the uh, Herrera Foods before. Um, actually, when I was in Carrefour, I burned the crap out of my finger, by the way. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here we are. This is so good, you guys. Mm. So this paella comes with the rice, of course. It has corn. It has a small green peas and carrots in it, along with um, let's see, it's artichoke, little shreds of artichoke leaves as well, and the Spanish seasonings. You guys, it's amazing. Ooh, mm. ooh. I'm so happy that it's small. I hit a pan because there's no way I can eat a big one of this. A large one. This is so good, you guys. Mm. And I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but I just learned this during my travels throughout Valencia. That paella actually originates from Valencia, Spain. When I was in Valencia for 24 hours, I was unable to actually. Uh, get my hands on some paella. Well, it was all around, I just ran out of time. But now I'm able to actually give me some paella the day before I leave, even though it's not from Valencia. Mm. So, my friend in Valencia, I hope you see this and let me know what you think. How does this paella look, you guys? Mm. 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 So good. So good. Y'all, I forgot to take my picture. No, I took a picture. I forgot to feature my chicken bagel sandwich for you guys. I just started eating and I realized, oh, I didn't get a video of this. Um, the same for my paella. So that's not the video, uh, the video, but I forgot to take a picture. That's because I'm so hungry, guys. This is so good. Oh my goodness. This is the Huerta uh, plant-based chicken. So this is a brand that is very well known in Barcelona. <laughs> so good. The bagel. Slightly toasted as well. Mm. That's so good. And here I have more potatoes. So delicious. I'm probably not gonna want to see another French fry. Or potato until 2023. Mm. They're so delicious. Mm. Okay. So I'm ending out this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me stuff my face for the last time here in Europe throughout these three weeks. Throughout five countries and good cities, you guys. But it's time for me to go back home to the United States. And there's a couple of ways that you know it's time for me to go back home. 
One, my hair is dry. I don't have no mousse, okay? No mousse, my hair is dry, you guys. It's just looking a hot mess, it's whatever. Two, um, my budget. I don't wanna go over my budget, so I'm almost at that point. And then the last thing, you know if it's time to go home when your nails are receiving. Now I know some of y'all have seen my nails receiving in my videos, but y'all probably just being polite, like, you're not gonna say nothing, but I know y'all see it, I see it, I see it. It's the inevitable. But anytime your nails are receiving like this, it's time to go home. And it's time for me to take these bad boys off, you guys. <laughs> Until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode of Nikki Savory Be Neat. If I don't talk to you before Thanksgiving and you celebrate it, have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm not going to make a promise that I'm going to make a video. It just depends on how I feel. If not, I'll catch you guys in the next episode of my kitchen where I'll, I'll be cooking or preparing something. And I'm thinking about going live about my trip. So if you want me to go live on YouTube, this will be the first time. Let me know. Drop a comment and let me know. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.